Good afternoon, family and friends, brothers and sisters. Sergeant OCD here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for uh, subscribing. Thanks for your comments. Um, last week I mentioned I was going to do a raised bed over in this area. So I'm going to try out this saw that I found. Um, don't know how good it is. But first thing I'm going to do is make some tripods. But uh, this is the pack I've been carrying with me when I forage. So it's got, uh, you know, the basic things in it. I'm not going to go into it. Fixed blade knife. Boom, you have. Um, machete, which I lost on my last outing, but I found it. Um, and then I've got a small axe. I'm pretty sure I got a, um, yeah, another saw in here. Um, I started going back to my orange stuff in case I drop it. You guys have been out in the woods, you know if you drop something, um, you can't find it. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stow this thing. Not on the ground. These little hangers I have here. Which is also a patch to the tarp, so that's why the tarp went down. Um, I don't need my boonie hat. So, Summertime is always out forage, summer foraging, um, finding a lot of medicinal plants that I can dry and even use for powder, like yarrow. Um, I found some mullein. I, I say it's spelled mullein, but I, I say mullein or mullein, but it's mullein. Um, so this tree is in my front yard, um, close to the porch, and half of it died. I'm not sure what type of tree in it, but it branches out. So there's actually two branches here. Um, so I'm going to process this and um, make basically a raised bed here. Uh, first thing I got to do is cut uh, some three pieces each, probably 12 of them, so I can make tripods. And that's why I'm using bank line. Because bank line doesn't stretch and it's got like a 350 pound force and it is number 36 bank line um, I get mine from Amazon sergeant knots um, it's a small business so um, always try to try to go with your small businesses uh, the reason I'm reason I'm not out foraging today is because we're supposed to get severe thunderstorms and where I go now one of the places I go, I didn't want to get caught in it. Um, I redid my LBE gear just for hiking. So all it is is throw that on, go. And, you know, I could do overnighters or whatever if I get lost or whatever. This place I'm going is pretty big. I let everybody know, but you never know what could happen. I could twist an ankle, I could fall. Anything could happen when you're by yourself. I try not to go by myself. I got a, a battle buddy that I go out with, and uh, he's uh, he's very good at finding direction. That's for sure. And he points with his knife hands. Uh, so shout out to Jesse. So um, I'm just going to chop this stuff off, and then we're going to go into making the tripod. So I just want to get this. Out.
So I'm on my third tripod or fourth tripod. Um, you may notice that my logs are getting larger. Uh, that's because most of the logs this size I burn. Um, making charcoal or whatever. But uh, I had my son drop off debris from somebody's house. And uh, this is what I'm using. It's better than him having to pay to go to the dump. But uh, yeah, you notice I'll put the longer or the thicker in the center. That's just because um, I'm OCD. So things are heating up in the world still. Looks like Russia and China are going to team up against us, which I don't know if Russia has anything left. But, you know, everybody's always just like the USA. I mean, I, I get the holy war happening been going on for over 2,000 years between Muslims and Christians. But Russia is total domination of the world. And for some reason our Air Force personnel, the PR, public relations people, said that we don't have enough weapons. Now, obviously that's either true or not, but it could be a way to antagonize World War III. Because whatever we sent Ukraine was not our newest stuff. Uh, they used what's oldest in the inventory. I mean, everybody knows knows that you cycle your inventory. You always use the oldest first. I mean, we do it in our household for food. So, I don't know. I just think everybody should be preparing, you know. Buy food, buy ammo, buy weapons, just to defend yourself, not to attack anybody, you know? Food so you can have a supply of food. Um, it's just basic survival. I mean, if you watch all these preppers or survivalists, they're going to tell you the same thing. It's nothing that we didn't learn about preparedness in the military. It's called a disaster preparedness. That's why we train. That's why we ran around in chemical warfare gear, mop gear. You know? That's why we should still train. No brainer. All right. Well, that one's done. So, we got three tripods, four tripods, sorry. Backing up in front of my house. I just left this freaking beeper on sitting there. I don't have any type of consideration for others. I may have to redo that one, but uh, um, I'll move these out of the way. This is the wood I've been collecting. It's too big for a haversack.
homeless people come. I have wood. Well, this is easier said than done. Um, I got one pole up, but every time I do one side, it just comes loose and my lashings um, get messed up. So what I'm gonna do is probably bevel the end on these um, because the one side will fit. So I'm gonna bevel the one end, um, but you'll see in the time lapse. It's a process, but this is the first one I've done. And I, once again, the bushcrafters make it look easy because they've been doing it for a while. But practice makes perfect, right? Well, here it is. Um, these seem a little flimsy now, but I think once I get the cross members in here, it'll settle everything down. I had a heck of a heck of a time with this one um, and it may be a little lower maybe I can adjust it but this one fell apart a couple of times and I think I'm gonna have to redo this again I think I might just duct tape it um, yeah I can't get this thing to, to stay because every time I tighten to this to this, it pulls it up. Let's go from the bank line now. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and start over. You gotta tie a slip knot um, onto a pole. You just bring it around, wrap it around on the inside, wrap it around on the outside, and that's your slip knot. And then you always want to tie a knot in the end, the short end, because if your slip knot slips tight or slips from the inside, you can always grab a hold of that and get it loose. patient before you cut it off long. but uh, you know play with it I think what I need to do is tie it this way because I was going around here and it would flip it up I had to bevel this in to even get it to, to not do that but yeah I'm I'm not doing it any favors on this side. Wants to fall. I almost need to tie a toggle or a crossbait brace in between that. Stop it! Stop that from doing that. But um, yeah, this is uh, it's not fun. Especially when it keeps coming apart. There's a way to do this. I just don't know. And 
my wrap is coming off of there. So I'm going to have to show you how to rewrap that. So once you get that onto there, trying to use the cordage that's on the, on the tripod to attach to I don't know if I even found a good video for that. But I'm going to play with it, get it done. I think that's pretty good the way it is. I think if I don't move it around too much now, that I can at least get it on there. That thing's making me mad. I need to show them the knife, too. I'm going to go get some cross members, maybe that'll help with the state of the Because, I mean, every time I do one, it, it, the other one falls down, so...
reason I don't tell you what time is what. So you get the gist of this. Um, I may finish this next week because my video is probably way too long already. Um, very frustrating. Uh, I'm going to take this off and probably cut another piece to see if I can get it done. Uh, and I'll finish up this video next week. Um, God bless you. Take care. Be kind to everyone, even if they're not nice to you. I mean, God's watching everyone. And you're going to have to answer for everything you do. Everyone will be Whether you're Christian or not. But if you're not a Christian, um, just be kind to everyone. And uh, maybe one day God will call you like they called me. He called me. And your life will get better. Because... Something I live by is Galatians 5, 22, 23. You know, um, I ask him that I walk in the spirit every day. And it's love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. And a lot of times I need more self-control and patience. Um... You guys take care, family, friends. Um, you want to go out, let me know. Um, I go out whenever I can. So, uh, and I'm finding all kinds of good stuff out there. Hopefully, uh, I'll get out uh, Saturday. Um, that's my plan with my LBE. Um, I'm going to go old school. Um, hiking, if you will, with uh, some new gadgets on it, and uh, we'll see, but uh, until next time, God bless you, take care, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.